Well, some say they are a nostalgic piece of the past. Many remember being dropped off at the mall to walk around or go to the food court and, you know, even hang out with friends. And in a world where online shopping, two-day delivery, and curbside pickup are becoming more the norm, the question that comes now, how will malls survive? KXAN morning anchor Amanda Dugan looks for that answer. With the growth of Amazon and online shopping and curbside and things, uh, it's interesting to see how malls will keep going on or if they even do. And you kind of looked into this. If they die, it's because they haven't adjusted or, or, or you know, tweaked their, their setup to, to adapt for the current times. And like you said, you know, with, the, with online shopping, the dying part of the mall are the apparel-based anchors, the Sears, the JCPenney's, the uh, Macy's, the Nordstrom's. As long as the malls have those as their anchor tenants, those are the malls that are going to be truly under decline. They have to change their tenant mix. They, they have to make a mall that's more of an experience. Malls that are more of an experience. What, what does that mean? Gone are the days where you go to a mall like to buy clothes. Like, you know, you're not, you're not going to Macy's anymore to, to buy, uh, you know, kids clothes for the rest of the week or for the rest of the school year. So now instead, those need to be replaced with, you know, outdoor experiences. You know, there, there are, for example, there are, there are malls that are reforming with an outdoor space that will serve as a concert hall or revamp the mall entirely. For example, Highland Mall, that's uh, been converted into a community college with housing and retail, you know, shops, restaurants, what have you, having yoga uh, on the, uh, at the mall, stuff like that. So anything that, that's an experience in terms of like, hey, I can't buy this online, but I could do this at a location. Those are the things that malls need to have go over again what some of our local malls are doing to to adapt to some of the changes well one of the one of the places that's done a really good job of making an experience is the domain uh, they've done uh, the outdoor mall experience and, and that's been one of the more successful models so far in terms of let's not focus on four or five anchor stores but let's instead build a, a, an experience where you, you come and there's multiple things you could do you could live here you could work here you could play here 